Make sure the very first thing you do is install the key in the ignition and that it frees up the electronic steering lock. Then leave the key in even though you are disconnecting the battery. If the lock is not open when you start, you will not be able to remove it from the steering column. With the steering shaft unlocked, leave the key in the ignition and disconnect the ground cable on the battery as indicated by the red arrow. You will need to remove the gauge cluster, so please see the link at the end of this video for additional assistance. You will also need to remove the airbag and the steering wheel. The link at the end of this video will take you to articles to provide you with help on those. Next, remove the steering column switch module, red arrow, and trim surround. This comes off as one unit. Again, the link at the end of this video will give you further assistance. Working below the dash, first remove the two bolts by the steering knuckle, as indicated by the red arrows, and then the bolts closer to the dash, yellow arrows. The steering shaft will be free once the bolts are removed, so gently lower it while removing the last two bolts. Disconnect the wiring connection for the lock along the left side of the shaft, red arrow. I found the easiest way to do this was to reach between the shaft assembly and the dash, red arrow, with one hand and the other up from below. This photo illustrates the electronic steering lock off the shaft. The grub bolt, red arrow, will be facing towards the front of the vehicle while it is installed. You need to remove the 13 millimeter nut that holds this grub bolt in place. You will need to do this blind or by feel, but it is the only nut back there. With the nut off, you will press the grub bolt into the lock assembly, red arrow, and then lift the locking assembly up and out from the steering column. If the grub bolt will not press in, the steering is locked and you will have to start over. If you are starting over, make sure to reinstall the airbag before reconnecting the battery. It is extremely dangerous to reconnect the battery without the airbag installed and the car will throw a fault code that can only be cleared by a factory tech. Once clear, you can remove the unit out of the opening between the column and the dash. Installation is the reverse of removal. When remounting the steering shaft, make sure to seat the forward bolts first, red arrows, the bolts are not shown in this picture. And then the rears. Once the bolts are in place, you can torque to spec. Thanks for watching. Click here to view the original article, along with hundreds of other DIY content for your car.